Hi guys, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and behind me is the Bandit Industries 12X drum chipper. Bandit Industries is based in Remus in Michigan and they've been producing hand-fed chippers, stump grinders and horizontal grinders for 40 years. The latest release from Bandit is the 12X. There's three models of 12-inch drum chippers now that Bandit produce. We have the 12X, we have the 12XPC and we have the 12XP. The 12X is the lightest in the range and there's a few different options on this machine compared to the models. Let me take you around this machine and show you some of the features and benefits. The 12X is built on a lighter weight chassis. So you can see here we've got a C-section steel channel subframe to the chipper. It comes on a single axle with 16 inch mud terrain tires and the overall weight of this machine is just under two and a half tons. Powering this machine, we have a three litre PSI 89 horsepower petrol engine. With this engine panel removed, you can see we've got easy access into your engine oil filter, engine oil filler, engine oil dipstick and fuel filter. Over here, we have the Bandit control panel, ignition switch. So once the engine's running, you can then control everything from here. So this will monitor such things as oil pressure, uh, also any fault codes that may pop up. But also from here, this is your auto feed unit as well. From the engine, drive is transferred via a clutch system here. So that's manually engaged by hand. It then drives down through the belt, under this belt shield, to the main drum. When it comes to adjusting the belts, it's on every single bandit machine, we have a cradle that you can move backwards and forwards underneath the engine. So the engine's held down with four bolts and we have two adjusting bolts here. And what we can do is slacken those off, pull the engine forward and that retensions the drive belt. Looking at the discharge system on this chipper, you can see on the end, we have a flipper, which is adjustable into three positions. We have a height adjuster here. And when it comes to rotating it, as you may have seen on other models, we used to have a hand crank system. That's now done away with on this machine, again, to keep the weight down. So this is a manual discharge. So by pulling the pin down, you can then move the discharge by hand. So underneath this cover is where the drum is situated, and this is where we get access to the knives. So the cover is held in place with four bolts, a pin, which is padlocked, we also have a safety plug here. So when this plug is disconnected, all the power is killed at the ignition. So nobody can accidentally start the machine. Lift the cover open and you can see into the drum. So the drum on this machine is smaller than our other 12 inch drum chipper models. This drum is 20 inches in diameter and it's only fitted with two knives, which are mounted 180 degrees apart. Both knives are reversible as well and easy access in from the top to remove them. Another main safety feature on this machine is the rope shear bar. This is fitted on all of our hand-fed drum chippers. So the reason this is fitted, if you can imagine some climbing rope getting fed into the back of the machine, how quick that rope goes round that drum and can wrap up. So what Bandit do is fit a shear bar where the knives cut against. You have your main anvil underneath the drum, which is the one that you can adjust. And this one is also fully adjustable as well. So if a rope does get wrapped around it, it not only cuts it in one place at the bottom of the anvil, it also cuts it up here as well. On this side of the hopper, you can see our flow control for the feed system. So the further you have this dial one way, the faster the feed system pulls the material in and vice versa going the opposite way. So if you're chipping big material, just slow your feed system down. If you're chipping smaller limbing material, you can speed it up. Also, we have here a test point for the hydraulic system. So either yourself or one of our engineers can plug a hydraulic gauge onto this port. We can then turn this tap off and check the relief valve on the hydraulic system. On the opposite side of the machine, we've got access to the hydraulic oil tank and also the petrol tank. So the hydraulic oil tank has got a sight level gauge in it. So you can see at a quick glance, the oil level. We've got a hydraulic oil filter, which is just around the corner here. And then your fuel tank, we have a sight gauge on the top and this is also lockable as well. Some of you may have noticed already that you can only see a single feed wheel motor here. So that's right, this machine is a single feed wheel machine. Our 12XPC and 12XP are twin feed wheel machines. And what Bandit have done on this is produced a single feed wheel, which is an oversized feed wheel. Now the feed wheel box is pivoted from just behind the drum. We still have a hydraulic cylinder here, so we can pressurize the system up to lift up and also pressurize it down, which is done on the lever, which is on all bandit chippers. 
You can also see here a spring system, and this is what provides a down pressure in normal free float mode. So we have a spring here that you can adjust by moving the pins into these either two holes here, and we have the same spring system on the opposite side as well. Looking in at the back of the machine, you can see the oversized feed wheel. So that's 21 inches wide, 16 inches in diameter. You can see here we have a safety curtain to prevent any chips of material coming back out towards the operator. And here we have two, what they call last chance cables. So if for any unfortunate reason, if somebody did get pulled into there and pulled on this lever, that would stop the feed system. On the side of the hopper, you can see the feed control system here. So we've got a green button, press the button once, the system will then pull material in and start to feed. If you want to reverse that, press and hold the black button. Once that's reversed, the feed wheel is then stopped, press the green button to go again. You can see we have a safety bar system around the pan as well. So press on that in an emergency and that will shut the feed system down. And then to reset, we press and hold both buttons together. Then we can press the green and it will start to feed in again. The handle that you see here on the side of the machine is used for lifting the feed wheel out of the way. So we can either pull on the lever to lift the feed wheel up, lock it in position with this lever, so that allows us maintenance at the anvil. You can also press this lever forward and that puts a down pressure, a crushing pressure on the material that's coming in. So for instance, if you're doing a, a material such as hawthorn, where it's springy, and sometimes the feed wheel finds it difficult to grab hold of it, a few pushes on this crushes that material and pulls it into the drum. The final thing we've got here is emergency stop and that is duplicated on the other side of the hopper as well as this handle and as well as your feed controls. When you're feeding this machine we always recommend feeding from either side of the hopper, never from in front. So long pieces of material you would walk up to the hopper, walk in, place it in and then walk away. For any of the shorter items that you want to put in there, on every bandit chipper it comes with something called a push paddle. So for shorter pieces of material, you can use this to actually push it into the feed wheel. And as it's made of plastic, it doesn't matter if it accidentally goes through the machine. Thank you guys for watching Technical Tuesday. If you do have any questions about the machine, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Or alternatively, give us a call at the office on 01476 568 384. I look forward to speaking to you next time.